The, Bibli the Biblical Evidence That Muhammad Is Not a False Prophet Bible Prophecies of Muhammad Part 2 Part 3 of Four New Testament Prophecies of Muhammad Description, a discussion on the prophecy mentioned in John 14 verse 16 of the Paraclete, or Comforter, and how Muhammad fits this prophecy more than others. John 14 verse 16, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever. American Standard Version In this verse, Jesus promises that another Comforter will appear, and thus, we must discuss some issues concerning this, Comforter. The Greek word parakletos, ho parakletos, has been translated as a Comforter. Parakletos more precisely means one who pleads another's cause. An Intercessor Vine's Expository Dictionary of New Testament Words The ho parakletos is a person in the Greek language, not an incorporeal entity. In the Greek language, every noun possesses gender, that is, it is masculine, feminine, or neutral. In the Gospel of John, chapters 14, 15 and 16 the ho parakletos is actually a person. All pronouns in Greek must agree in gender with the word to which they refer and the pronoun he is used when referring to the parakletos. The NT uses the word pneuma, which means breath, or spirit, the Greek equivalent of ruah, the Hebrew word for spirit, used in the OT. Pneuma is a grammatically neutral word and is always represented by the pronoun it. All present-day Bibles are compiled from ancient manuscripts, the oldest dating back to the 4th century CAE, no two ancient manuscripts are identical. Besides the larger discrepancies, such as these. There is scarcely a verse in which there is not some variation of phrase in some copies, of the ancient manuscripts from which the Bible has been collected. No one can say that these additions or omissions or alterations are matters of mere indifference. Our Bible and the Ancient Manuscripts, by Dr. Frederick Kenyon, Ayer and Spottiswood, page 3. All Bibles today are produced by combining manuscripts with no single definitive reference. The Bible translators attempt to choose the correct version. In other words, since they do not know which ancient manuscript is the correct one, they decide for us which a version, for a given verse, to accept. Take John 14 verse 26 as an example. John 14 verse 26 is the only verse of the Bible which associates the Parakletos with the Holy Spirit. But the ancient manuscripts are not in agreement that the Parakletos is the Holy Spirit. For instance, the famous Codex Syriacus, written around the 5th century CE, and discovered in 1812 on Mount Sinai, the text of 1426 reads, Paraclete, the Spirit, and not, Paraclete, the Holy Spirit. Why is it important? It is significant because in biblical language a spirit simply means a prophet. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. 1 John 4 verses 1-3 it is instructive to know that several biblical scholars considered Parakletos to be an independent salvific, having the power to save a figure, not the Holy Ghost. Christian tradition has identified this figure, Paraclete, as the Holy Spirit, but scholars like Spitta, Delafoss, Windisch, Sass, Boltman, and Betts have doubted whether this identification is true to the original picture and have suggested that the Paraclete was once an independent salvific figure, later confused with the Holy Spirit. The Anchor Bible, Doubleday and Company, Inc., Garden City, New York 1970, Volume 29A, page 1135. The question, then, is, was Jesus Paracletos, Comforter, a Holy Ghost, or a person, a prophet, to come after him? To answer the question, we must understand the description of Ho Paracletos and see if it fits a ghost or a human being. When we continue reading beyond chapter 1416 and chapter 16 7, we find that Jesus predicts the specific details of the arrival and identity of the Paracletos. Therefore, according to the context of John 14 and 16 we discover the following facts. One, Jesus said the Paracletos is a human being. John 16 verse 13, he will speak. John 16 verse 7, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. It is impossible that the Comforter be the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost was present long before Jesus and during his ministry. Genesis 1 verses 2 and 1 Samuel 10 10, 1 Samuel 11 verse 6, Isaiah 63. 11, Luke 1 verse 15, Luke 1 verse 35, Luke 1 verse 41, Luke 1 verse 67, Luke 2 verse 25, Luke 2 verse 26, Luke 3 verse 22, John 20 verses 21 to 22. John 16 verse 13 Jesus referred to the paraclete as a he and not it seven times. No other verse in the Bible contains seven masculine pronouns. Therefore, paraclete is a person, not a ghost. 2. Jesus is called a paracletos. 
And if any man sin, we have an advocate, Paracletos, with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. 1 John 2 verse 1 Here we see that Paracletos is a physical and human intercessor. 3. The Divinity of Jesus A Later Innovation Jesus was not accepted as divine until the Council of Nicaea, 325 CE, but everyone, except Jews, agree he was a prophet of God, as indicated by the Bible. Matthew 21 verse 11. This is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Luke 24 verse 19. Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. For Jesus prayed to God for another Paracletos. John 14 verse 16, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Paracletos. Bible Prophecies of Muhammad, Part 4 of Four More New Testament Prophecies of Muhammad Description, a further discussion on the prophecy mentioned in John 14 verse 16 of the Paraclete, or Comforter, and how Muhammad fits this prophecy more than others. 5. Jesus describes the function of the other Paracletos. John 16 verse 13, He will guide you into all the truth. God says in the Quran of Muhammad, O mankind! The messenger has now come unto you with the truth from your Lord, believe, then, for your own good. Quran 4 170 O people, the messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, has come to you with guidance and the true religion from Allah. So accept what he has brought to you, as this will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. If you disbelieve in Allah, he is in no need of your faith. Your disbelief does not harm him, because he controls everything in the heavens, everything in the earth and everything in between. Allah knows who deserves guidance and makes it easy for them. He also knows who does not deserve it and makes them blind to it. He is wise in his words, actions, laws, and decree. Anisa 170. John 16 verse 14, He will glorify me. The Quran brought by Muhammad glorifies Jesus. Who shall become known as the Christ Jesus, son of Mary, of great honor in this world and in the life to come, and, shall be, of those who are drawn near unto God. Quran 345. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this word and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. Ali Imran 45. Muhammad also glorified Jesus. Whoever testifies that none deserves worship except God, who has no partner, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger, and that Jesus is the servant of God, his messenger, and his word which he bestowed in Mary, and a spirit created from him, and that paradise is true, and that hell is true, God will admit him into paradise, according to his deeds. Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih Muslim John 16 verse 8, He will convince the world of its sin, and of God's righteousness, and of the coming judgment. The Quran announces Indeed, they have disbelieved who say, God is the Christ, son of Mary, seeing that the Christ, himself, said, O children of Israel, worship God, alone, who is my Lord as well as your Lord. Indeed, whoever ascribes divinity to any being beside God, unto him will God deny paradise, and his goal shall be the fire. And there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. Quran 5 hours 72 minutes. The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. al 72 John 16 verse 13 He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that if shall he speak. The Quran says of Muhammad. Neither does he speak out of his own desire, that it which he conveys to you, is but, a divine, inspiration with which he is being inspired. Quran 53 3-4 And he did not speak this Quran out of following his desires. This Quran is nothing but a revelation which Allah revealed to him through the medium of Gabriel, peace be upon him. Anajma 3 4. John 14 verse 26, And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. The words of the Quran. While the Messiah had said, O children of Israel, worship God, my Lord and your Lord. Quran 5 hours 72 minutes. 
The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almida 72 Reminds people of the first and greatest command of Jesus they have forgotten. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Mark 12 verse 29 John 16 verse 13 And he will disclose to you what is to come. The Quran states. That is from the news of the unseen which we reveal, O Muhammad, to you. Quran 12 102 Allah revealed all that has been mentioned from the story of Joseph and his brothers to the messenger, peace be upon him. He had no knowledge of it beforehand, since he was not there with the brothers of Joseph when they agreed to throw him into the bottom of a well, and when they planned their trick. But Allah revealed this all to the messenger, peace be upon him. Yusuf 102 Hud Haifa, a disciple of Prophet Muhammad, tells us. The Prophet once delivered a speech in front of us wherein he left nothing but mentioned everything that would happen till the hour of judgment. Sahih al-Bukhari. John 14 verse 16, that he may abide with you forever. Meaning his original teachings will remain forever. Muhammad was God's last prophet to humanity, Quran 33 40. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, so he is not the father of Zayd. Therefore his marrying his wife is not impermissible for him when Zayd divorces her. However, he is the messenger of Allah sent to the people and the seal of the prophets. There is no prophet to come after him. Allah is the knower of everything. Nothing is hidden from him from the affairs of his servants. Allah Zab of 40 His teachings are perfectly preserved. He lives in the hearts and minds of his adoring followers who worship God in his exact imitation. No man, including Jesus or Muhammad, has an eternal life on earth. Paracletos is not an exception either. This cannot be an allusion to the Holy Ghost, for present-day creed of the Holy Ghost did not exist until the Council of Chalcedon, in 451 CE, four and a half centuries after Jesus. John 14 verse 17, he will be the spirit of truth. Meaning he will be true prophet, see 1 John 4 verses 1 to 3. John 14 verse 17, the world neither sees him. Many people in the world today do not know Muhammad. John 14 verse 17, nor knows him. Fewer people recognize the real Muhammad, God's prophet of mercy. John 14 verse 26, the advocate, Paracletos. Muhammad will be the advocate of humanity at large and of sinful believers on judgment day. People will look for those who can intercede on their behalf to God to reduce the distress and suffering on day of judgment. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus will excuse themselves. Then they will come to our prophet and he will say, I am the one who is able. So he will intercede for the people in the great plain of gathering, so judgment may be passed. This is the station of praise, God promises him in the Quran. It may be that your Lord will raise you to station of praise, the honor of intercession on the day of resurrection. Quran 17 hours 79 minutes, see also Sahih al-Bukhari. And in part of the night, O messenger, stand and pray, so that your prayer increases your rank, and seeking for your Lord to raise you to the praise station on the day of judgment. As an intercessor for the people from the horrors of the day of judgment, and so that you attain the position of the great intercession, for which the first and last will praise you. Al-Isra 79 Prophet Muhammad said, My intercession will be for those of my nation who committed major sins. Al-Tirmidhi I shall be the first intercessor in paradise. Sahih Muslim Some Muslim scholars suggest what Jesus actually said in Aramaic represents more closely the Greek word parakletos, which means the admired one. In Arabic the word Muhammad means the praiseworthy, admired one. In other words, parakletos is Muhammad in Greek. We have two strong reasons in its support. First, due to several documented cases of similar word substitution in the Bible. It is quite possible that both words were contained in the original text but were dropped by a copyist, because of the ancient custom of writing words closely packed, with no spaces in between. In such a case the original reading would have been, and he will give you another comforter, Paracletos, the admirable one, Paracletos. Second, we have the reliable testimony of at least four Muslim authorities from different eras who ascribed to admired. Praised one foot as a possible meaning of the Greek or Syriac word to Christian scholars, Sirat Rasul Allah, by Ibn Ishaq, 85-151 CE, p. 103. 
Bain al-Islam wal Masahiyah, Kitab Abu Ubaida al-Khazraji, pages 220-221 by Abu Ubaida al-Khazraji, 1146-1187 CE, pages 220-221. Hidayah Tulhayara, by Ibn al kayyim page 119. Al-Riyad al-Anika, by al-Suyudi, page 129. The following are some who attest that the paraclete is indeed an allusion to Muhammad. May the mercy and blessings of God be upon him. The First Witness Anselm Termida 1352-55-1425 CE, a priest and Christian scholar, was a witness to the prophecy. After accepting Islam he wrote a book, Tufa al-Arib fi al-Rad Allah al al salib The Second Witness Abdullah Had Dawood, the former Rev. David Abdu Benjamin Keldani, B.D., a Roman Catholic priest of the Uniat Chaldean section, read his biography here. After accepting Islam, he wrote the book, Muhammad in the Bible. He writes in this book. There is not the slightest doubt that by Paraclite, Prophet Muhammad, Ida e Ahmad, is intended. The Third Witness A synopsis of the life of Muhammad Asad has already been given above. Commenting on the verse an apostle who shall come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad, Quran 61 6. Remember, O Messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's Messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the messengers. I have come to give the good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. Asaf is 6. Where Jesus predicts the coming of Muhammad, Asad explains that the word Parakletos is almost certainly a corruption of Parakletos, the much praised, an exact Greek translation of the Aramaic term or name Muhammad. It is to be borne in mind that Aramaic was the language used in Palestine at the time of, and for some centuries after, Jesus and was thus undoubtedly the language in which the original, now lost, texts of the Gospels were composed. In view of the phonetic closeness of Parakletos and Parakletos it is easy to understand how the translator, or, more probably, a later scribe, confused these two expressions. It is significant that both the Aramaic Mohamana and the Greek Parakletos have the same meaning as the two names of the last prophet, Muhammad and Ahmad. Both of which are derived from the Hebrew verb Hamida, he praised, and the Hebrew noun Hamd, praise.